Hey guys, I thought we'd make a quick video here. I've really been slacking on that. Um, just been really busy with other stuff. But uh, as you can see, we have come a long way. I mean, the car is sitting on the ground on its own. Um, and I've just made lots and lots of little changes. Uh, we're actually getting the hood on and we're starting to consider uh, how we're going to run our intake and do our uh, tube front end. Unfortunately, I haven't been able to get a hold of a front bumper and the gentleman that was going to come by and kind of let me borrow it for a sense uh, didn't show up today, but um, I'm sure I can get him to come by another day. Uh, I mean, everybody deserves the right to enjoy their day off, so I totally get it. Anyway, uh, I guess uh, we'll start with underneath the hood here. You can see some of the considerations we're making. Now, this intake setup coming out the front here, that's a joke. It's just something temporary. Uh, the engine doesn't seem to want to run without the... Um, the MAF sensor anymore so I'll just put that there in place it's not it's not permanent it looks terrible but I'm um, trying to mock up whereabouts I want this radiator um, I'm not sure exactly how high or uh, the the radiator is off the ground in the stock setup and that's one of the other answers I need to get from another stock WRX but right now I think this is um, 15 inches off the ground or something like that I can't remember what it was Anyway, this is our engine. We're looking great. Um, intakes in place. The fuel rails are in place. We had to get rid of those truck fuel rails because they were leaking from the end caps. Apparently, the the caps are they're 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 pressed on, and then inside that pressed on cap is a um, another plug with a O-ring, and the O-rings degrade. And once those O-rings degrade, you have to just chuck them because they're not rebuildable. So, kind of unfortunate because I was trying to save money in that sense, but uh, we ended up getting these new fuel rails. And um, came with a lot of extra parts, and I didn't like the crossover going over the top of the intake, so I just used this little weird 90 thing here and sent it underneath, and it worked out quite well. The engine's running good. Um, we got new injectors in there. We got all of our sensors in place. Uh, it's running quite well, all things considered. It just needs a tune. But uh, we're a long way from being able to, like, you know, drive this thing down the street. I mean, it needs an alignment, something fierce and a lot of other little things but um, engine wise we're, get, we're getting close we're getting close uh, everything in here is torqued and looking good um, we still have a few, a few minor oil leaks to adjust and deal with um, coming from the drain plug and the AN fittings that come off of the oil pan for the oil cooler but um, those should be easily resolvable and I'm looking to do it after I get this engine running and uh, broken in for about 20 minutes uh, then I'll just drain all the oil, fix the leaks, and then fill her back up, and hopefully we're good to go. But, uh, yeah, so that's what we're doing here. I'm looking to get one of those Corvette-style intakes to kind of, like, lean over and come down in front of the radiator here. But uh, we'll see what we end up with. I mean, I can always run this radiator straight up and down and then see about running something that goes down and in between um, in some fashion. But, uh, you know, we're going to figure it out. It's all going to come down to how high we want this radiator to come up off the ground and um, other considerations you know when we start getting into like the overflow tank and swirl pot and all that stuff because you want uh, height points in the system so you can get all the air out um, anyway uh, this is our little battery setup here it's working quite well um, I've yet to confirm whether or not our alternator our current alternator is functional or not but we'll get to that for the time being, we, we put all this stuff in place just for mock-up. I should be able to run from the uh, frame horns over there, some kind of a frame system that comes around there behind the lights, and um, to just behind that mounting point there, and then come straight across. And then I can make some tabs to mount the lights there, and as well as uh, mount the, um, the radiator. So that's uh, gonna be a bit of, a little bit of work there but I don't think it I think that it, that'll be a couple day job once I have the materials I need <clears throat> um, we just installed some BC coilovers that we found on uh, Facebook I mean they're old and haggard but uh, they're still functional and they're an upgrade and it didn't cost us a thousand dollars which is uh, um, more or less what I'm after you know uh, I raised them significantly thinking that the car was going to settle a lot lower than it did so it looks like I've still got another two two and a half inches I can drop this this car uh, as well as over here um, gonna have to make some more adjustments to the rear camber 
The BC coils have a very interesting feature. The top pillow ball mounts, um, I've seen these on other, on other shock setups, but I never realized that they have multiple positions for the, um, the screws. So I can, I can stagger these screws, I can set these into these two holes over here, and then slide this even further that way, pushing out camber. That's pretty useful, it gives you quite a wide range of adjustment. Um, but yeah, I mean, every, the drivetrain is in place, our, our drive shaft and everything else is done. Um, we went ahead and finished our exhaust. I'm not sure what you can see with the, the lighting, but we got our 3 inch exhaust all the way back. It has a, a custom made X pipe um, and it sounds awesome. I'll go ahead and give her a start for you guys. But I mean, we're coming along. I mean, we still have a lot of bodywork type issues to fix. Um, I need to get this gas gas panel back in place and fix this part of the body here. There's a lot of dents and dings all over the car. I mean, it's ugly, but um, that really isn't this car's purpose. This is to be some kind of, you know, beauty queen car. Um, I still got to replace some of these uh, these moldings, um, like this one here. Got to get get these. You know, maybe find myself a new set of doors if, the, if I can get them on the cheap but uh, all in all considering I'm going to be probably sliding this thing around the track and running into walls and stuff it might, it might just be something I just ignore for the time being but um, we've made a lot of tremendous progress here and I'm, I'm really really excited to uh, get the driver um, I'm hoping by the end of the month maybe you know I mean the car looks more or less complete but there's a lot of stuff you know we still got to finish all of our electrical you know, and get all these, um, get the seats in place. I mean, on the track, this car is fine, right? But, you know, as far as street driving, we don't have headlights or blinkers or any of the other essentials. Um, but let's get her, get her running. Uh-oh. Sounds like I'll have to give you guys a test run later. Looks like we uh, drained our battery. <laughs> Anyway, um, just checking in with you guys. If you guys have any questions about where we are and what we've been doing, um, just uh, feel free to let us know.